What's good, everybody? So, McDonald's, the number one fast food chain in the world, is about to start doing massive layoffs around the board. Now, a couple of months ago, the company did release a statement saying that they was going to be preparing uh, and getting ready to start doing these layoffs. They didn't actually say when it was going to happen, but they did put it out there and let to put it out there and let people know that yeah, we're gonna have to start letting some people go because they're about to hit do a restructure and reset of the company. Well, now that time has finally come. And according to the New York Post, it says that McDonald's temporarily shuts US offices, prepares layoff notices report. McDonald's Corporations is temporarily closing its U.S. offices this week as it prepares to inform corporate employees about layoffs undertaken by the burger giant as part of a broader company restructuring. McDonald's said in an eternal email last week to U.S. employees and some of its international staff that they should work from home Monday through Wednesday so it can deliver staffing decisions virtually. During the week of April 3rd, we will communicate key decisions related to roles and staffing levels across the organization, the Chicago-based fast food chain said in this message viewed by the journal. So what do we know? What we know is that they're getting ready to do these massive cuts all around the board because they're about to restructure and uh, hit the reset button on the company. Now. Some people want to know why they're doing this because McDonald's is a billion dollar corporation. They're part of they're the number one fast food chain in the world. Well, that's true. But we all know too, because of inflation and everything that's going on, and also with them saying that possibility there's a recession coming, that everybody got hit in this. Everybody, all the companies got hit with this recession to where they had to make changes, to where they had to let people go, to so have to cut back on products and things because um they had to look at the menus and see, okay, what's selling, what's not selling. Then they had to look at staff and say, like, okay, because of recession that, you know, some of our restaurants and some of our locations just aren't doing that well. So we have to cut some people, which we all know that happens. And now what they're saying is that they're telling people to go home, not just in the U.S., but also and um the international uh places they said they sent out an email to let employees know that hey you know work from home for the next couple of days and then we're going to call you and let you know about your future with the company so pretty much they're going to call let you know if you have a job if you're safe or hey we got to let you go and this is not just from my take on it from what I think is going to happen, this is not just the regular workers. This is management as well, too. So management, while they thinking that they safe, they not safe either. Especially anytime you shut down the you you shut down your offices to have these meetings to go over everything to say, OK, this is what we're going to do. And like I told you guys. They was already talking about this a couple of months ago, but they didn't relieve. They, I'm sorry, they didn't relieve. They didn't give out. Sorry again. They didn't give out any information on how this was going to happen. So I believe during that time when they put it out there, they was already putting their plan together how they was going to do this, how they going to do the layoffs. They looked at everything and said, "This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to. This is who we're going to cut. People in this department. This, 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 this. Because if we do this, it's going to save us money and going to allow us to be able to give them breathing room to do what we want to do. So, also that's why I said it's not just management is not safe either. So I believe when they sent that email out, they sent it out to some of the employees, but also some management got that email as well. And they going home and they're going to be sitting back waiting to see if you are going to keep your job. or they're going to let you know. To me, I think that's kind of a. Uh, how can I say it? That's kind of a shitty way to do it, because let's just say you were at work and then your supervisor come to you and say, hey, you know what? Um, I'm going to need you to go home. 
for the next couple of days and then corporate is going to call you and let you know about your job now i know some of the workers are probably like what you mean i've been doing a good job yeah it's not about you haven't been doing a good job but they're going to let you know what it's about so now you going home sitting at home waiting to see okay am i going to have my job or they're going to let me uh go but i believe and this would just be me if i was to get a letter like that i'm not going to sit around wait for y'all let me know what's going on when you told me that i'm going to automatically start to look for something else you know because let's just be honest even if you get your unemployment unemployment is cool but it's not your real check you know and then especially with everything that's going up because you know food is going up cost of living going up rent is going up everything is going up you know so now unless you're a person that you don't have any kids you know maybe you can kind of get away with your unemployment for, for a couple of months i don't know but for somebody who has kids and have to pay bills and stuff like that that's going to take a big hit for them you know because it's like okay i gotta i gotta pay bills i gotta take care of my kids i gotta do all that so i don't know if i'm gonna have a job or not so to sit there be rattling in my brain trying to figure out what's going to happen you know what let me go out here and do what i gotta do so that if they do tell me that i'm gone then i'm already prepared i'm already lining up which i always say that even when you work in a job you should automatically have things lined up anyway you should always have a backup plan because to me a job is cool but it's not a career for you it's something to start off to you know get you in the dough to try to, to uh get you on your feet but you always want to be looking two or three steps ahead now if you're working for mcdonald's and your goal is that you want to get your own mcdonald's you want to move up in the company that's one thing but if you just working at McDonald's or you work in security or something just for the time being to get you on your feet, to uh, help you be a part of that plan to push you further to what you want to do, then that's what you should be doing. You should always have a backup plan just in case when things like this happen. Because now with everything, the way that the world is going and way stuff is happening left and right, you don't know because there is no job security. You know, so um like i said in my opinion i think this is kind of a jacked up way to do it to have people going home and waiting to see if you're gonna to wait and see if they're gonna have their job or not i just feel like if that's the case then you need to just let people know right then and there because you already know what you're gonna do you already know who you're gonna let go then just to let the people know right then and there why they at they um why they at work or whatever just to say hey you know what you know to let them know what's going on and be like you know hey can you finish out the week or if you don't do that just let them know ahead of time and say hey this is what's going on you know but i just don't agree with that going home waiting a couple of days to figure out if you're gonna have a job or not i just don't agree with that to me i just feel like that's a little bit too much but hey that's what they're doing you know and it's a lot of things that these companies do that we don't agree with it's a lot of things that happen in the world that we don't agree with but you know hey you know the stuff you can't change change it the stuff you can't change you can't worry about it you know so i just hope for the people who did get the letters or who did get those phone calls to let them know what's going to happen with them you know like i said i just hope that you know i pray and bless that you guys get back on your feet and you know uh do what you got to do but also i just say use this as a um as fire to say that hey I don't want to be put in this situation again so let me start putting my plan together to put myself or put myself and my family in a better situation so that we don't have to deal with this you know so that's my take on it you know but you guys let me know how do you feel about this mcdonald's is doing massive layoffs and they had sent emails out to let some of the employees know that they can go home and to work from home. And um, they're gonna let them know by phone calls and virtual, if they still have a job or not, they're gonna let them go. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Uh, and until then, stay tuned.